say the good evening, to everybody. Uh, my name is No. I uh, today I'm very happy uh, that uh, <coughs> I was invited to present on the topic of uh, states that of soil carbon in Thailand. First of all, I would like to introduce myself first. Uh, actually, the, uh, I'm soil surveyor. I just moved or become to the agricultural research officer at this month and moved to the other divisions, division of uh, uh, research and development on soil and water conservation. Uh, so um, the, I put this on the soil quality, soil economic matter, soil survey, and also soil and water conservation. I think uh, you know our vision already. So I, I try to, to raise you all active, active because now it's very, I think it's late for the officer in now. So our vision is uh, to, to enhance soil fertility and agricultural productivity while promoting long-term sustainability based on participatory principle. What we act on? We do survey and classification analysis, planning, land use planning, conduct experiment and carry various aspects of land development, seed production for cover crop and soil improvement materials, assist the farmer in soil and soil and water conservation practices and soil improvement. And also we transfer technology from its research of soil development and soil science to uh, for multiple purpose use. The outline what I talk, the state of soil and land use in Thailand, so I can carbon map what we have done before and launch in Italy. So organic carbon study, especially on the carbon stock, storage location, land use and effect on organic carbon and was snake on study. Our story is in Thailand. We trying to group in the 62 group in Thailand. Soil fertility status. In Thailand, soil fertility is quite low. Especially the organic matter is less than 1%. In case of land use, most of our, we found 54% uh, of the agricultural land. Especially in the northeast of Thailand, that you uh, may see the, the yellow color in northeast of Thailand is uh, for rice. As we know about the SOC key to sustainable development, the soil plays an important role in the carbon cycle. For agricultural part, I try to write to draw the this dynamic of the uh, the I focus on about the different less due qualities under the tree system and also for the residue from harvesting in agricultural system. So the, we work on about the soil carbon map and then uh, work to uh, FAO that uh, is launched in Italy in 2017. So in case of uh, soil carbon state that in Thailand, we uh, got uh, the soil carbon map that uh, most of in most of the area in Thailand that's less than 30 ton per hectare. So let's uh, see on the what the uh, in case of uh, northeast of Thailand that we show the red or the yellow color. We found the most area is occur in the northeast of Thailand. Why? Because it's the deforestation and the soil degradation is so in lowering of uh, soil qualities, especially on the soil organic mountain that low more than in 1%. Our 
I work on about uh, the soil carbon sequestration. Carbon sequestration in the soil are their ecosystem, bird mitigation, adaptation, implication. And uh, we know when more carbon is brought to the soil than is released, the carbon accumulate in the soil and vice versa. So what uh, we think, what are the original carbon stock in the soil and what are the change in carbon stock? In case of uh, northeast of Thailand, so in northeast of Thailand have low carbon, as I say, is lower than the 0.8 percent. Result from the deforestation, biomass burning, till lake operation and soil erosion. The researcher report that soil land use change and management have the late influence on carbon accumulation. So, understanding on current status of carbon lead to strategy on efficiency of long-term increasing in soil carbon. For my studies, either try to, to uh, classify the carbon stock in case of uh, circular carbon stock from uh, 0 to 100 centimeter depth related to different soil type and also the other part on the carbon accumulation under different land use of carbon crop. And also we work on about the quality and location of carbon in the <coughs> different soil type or mentioned on the textured soil, like uh, crows and fry textures. Uh, my study site in the northeast of Thailand, we uh, have uh, we have the data from the, the project as the the quality project quality monitoring project from the 2011-2016 was selected and used for estimate on the carbon distribution, and also we work on about the 20 benchmark sizely in this study as a representative and uh, a different uh, land use as well. <coughs> this picture shows about the different position of the soil series in northeast of Thailand and different of the uh, pollen materials from the aluminum, sandstone, siltstone, basalt, and granite. In this picture, I show about the different site order that uh, between the lowland and offland site. And the site information about the site uh, order or site, site type and particle site class in the city of Thailand. For site sampling, I mentioned about the five main factors should be considered when taking soil sample. The first, sample, sampling depth, time of year, number of soil, number and distribution, and sampling frequency. This profile uh, to show what I the uh, sampling the, the soil throughout the uh, uh, soil profile from the zero to hundred centimeter depth, and uh, we considered about the uh, short root length and this long root length because the uh, I have talked with the. Uh, uh, the release researcher from FAO, they just mentioned on about from 0 to uh, 15 or 0 to 30 centimeter depth for samplings. But uh, in, in case of my study, I try to uh, take a sample to out the 100 centimeter depth. And uh, we, in this picture, we just, I just show about, uh, we dig the soil at uh, 50 centimeter depth and then augling to 
100 centimeter to take a soil sample. And we uh, and the soil body sleeve work was performed employing undisturbed commuter. I also used the, the formula of uh, for soil carbon stock calculation. This result we showed uh, the distribution of soil carbon in North Thailand. That uh, so the same. I try to uh, compare in the past that uh, we we have been known about the uh, soil organic carbon in or organic matter is less than one percent or one uh, or zero point eight percent for the carbon form. And this picture from the upper part of Northeast of Thailand that we found at the different uh, depth from the, the first the first one is the 0 0.15 centimeter and the and this for 15 to 30 30 to 50 and the last one is 50 to 100 centimeter depth we found the, the organic carbon has high in the the surface soil, especially zero to the uh, thirty centimeter. In case of carbon stock, this uh, in this figure I show about the the carbon stock in the different soil series that we found in northeast of Thailand. The highest, the highest of uh, carbon stock we found in the grain soil especially in the land and the, the lowest we found in sandy soil in the off land. In this picture is representative from the gray in the uh, gray soil in the, my left hand side and uh, it showed the highest carbon stock and the later one is from the sandy soil. As I talk about the uh, the highest, the highest of carbon stock is ha have higher than uh, zero point. Uh, ah, sorry, in zero to thirty centimeter depth. It's about uh, 40, 45 to 77 percent of uh, total organic carbon uh, related to about uh, the uh, 100, 100 uh, centimeter to our slide profile. And also we try to uh, identify the, the carbon stock based on the site type, poly materials, minorities, and particle size class. If this slide I show about the, the carbon stock based on the pallet materials. Like the first, the first picture is from alluvial. It has highest in the opening carbon stock, lowest in sandstone. And for soil type, uh, based on the soil order in North Thailand, we found the highest in the officers, and lowest in any soil. Also, we found the, the highest carbon stock in the clay, in clay soil, and lowest in the sandy soil or coarse textures. We have the, the positive correlation of the carbon stock with the clay particle size, and the negative correlated with the sand content. And also, we found uh, the correlation to all this uh, soil profile. For the quantity and location of organic carbon in close and fine textures, <coughs> I have the mention on about the aggregate size that is physically protected in the in soil. I do the 
so aggregate distribution by receiving and also we uh, classify the so aggregate into three sites such as large macro aggregate small macro aggregate and the last one is micro aggregate The grey soil is quite high in the uh, in the small macro aggregate, and the, in case of a coarse texture or sandy soil is high in the micro aggregate. This shows about the relationship between quantity of aggregate and carbon inside aggregate. We found the positive. Uh, correlations. <clears throat> In this picture, I try to the, to understand about the, the soil carbon or soil carbon stock at the different uh, land use. As we mentioned about, uh, we we have the most of uh, land use. We found the 54, 54 percent of agricultural land in the in Thailand. So at this part, I try to uh, take sample at the different uh, land use, or maybe the cover crop, such as rice, eucalyptus, sugarcane, palalaba, corn, cassowar. We select the uh, soil that as a sensitive of sandy soil and clay soil, and also we uh, have the, the sample from. Uh, the lateritic soil. So the, uh, I found uh, the organic carbon had uh, highest in the subsurface, uh, in the surface soil, especially the zero to the thirty centimeter depth uh, for all land use, and. Uh, I found that uh, the the land use or the cover crop that is uh, low quality residue uh, lead high the organic carbon stock in the surface soil, like eucalyptus, and the the residue that is uh, uh, high. The, I mean, the, is is easily decomposed that it lead to uh, low organic carbon in the surface soil. And also uh, in clay soil, but in clay soil we found uh, uh, the at the at the surface soil is the is not the different significant significantly different in the surface soil. As a result of the different land use, as I mentioned, I mentioned about uh, the less view quality, like uh, the percentage of carbon, nitrogen, or the CL ratio in the less view, that uh, the high carbon but low lignin should uh, that lead to the high organic carbon in soil. I, I forgot to t uh, tell you about uh, when you go to the field, I take sample and also I uh, collect the less view, I mean the litter, leaf litter form from the area that, uh, and then uh, do analysis for carbon, uh, nitrogen, lignin as well, and also cellulose. So, in conclusion, the I think uh, <coughs> in case of uh, carbon carbon distribution and carbon stock, we uh, we try to do a map and then the link to the uh, link to the soil type and land use. We found the the gray soil has high organic carbon content, especially carbon stock, and through our the uh, soil profile from the uh, 
0 to 100 centimeter depth. And the quantities of uh, and location of carbon that uh, protected in the in the soil, we found the carbon is physically protected in the uh, in the aggregate, especially the, in micro aggregate for uh, coarse texture and in the small macro aggregate in fine texture soil. In the area that they plant. The, uh, the plant the uh, light tree or lava tree that high carbon content in in the in the residue and also high lignin is laid to high organic carbon content in the soil as well. So the report of state of uh, carbon in the state of Thailand in relation to the soil forming factors <coughs> in in this, uh, in this study is to be used for managing strategies effective on the organic carbon sequestration in long term. So the next, what we uh, study, <coughs> uh, we trying to uh, update the soil organic carbon map and also organic carbon stock and uh, toward the natural uh, carbon map based on the DSOC or global cyclonic carbon map and also the enhanced cyclonic carbon while promoting long-term sustainability based on participatory principle that uh, what we would like to do then. So I think uh, that's my, uh, my studies. If you have any questions, we can uh, discuss more. Thank you very much.